it all comes down to this we've had seven rounds and 14 races and now it is one more weekend to decide the title it is a 13 point lead we have over Teo Pacher and ART has a 13 point lead over us in the championship it's all to play for welcome to the final part of this F2 season hopefully if things work out we'll have a Formula 1 seat for next season it's what our aim was with Toto Wolf we're going to be starting this sprint race up down EP9 as we qualify in the front row for the feature race our championship rival though take the chair started down in 14th so here we go then for the final sprint of the season no one racing everyone did a lot to make a daddy we have 30 pieces out we're going to get to the outside of the river now we can try to spot it round the outside keep it going then we can also try to run a little bit wide because now we have from turn 3 and turn 4 let's try to outside behind us now we have to move the old hairpin we're going to look for a lunge or two far back. We're going to try and set, set this over to the top for a chicken. The car will get closer and closer to the car in front. We're right top top. In the slips, we're not going to go left. We're not going to go right. It's defended to the inside. And we're going to go to the inside. He's really pushed back over. But we've also been able to stand down and only burn him. Down the inside, we've caught him up. He's on the inside, he really squeezes us out there. Forces to back out, it's a great defensive manoeuvre from him. But he's not getting away with it here. If we head down towards the new headman, the new bank corner, they're going to look to send it down the inside of Berman, catch him out again. This time though, Berman can't keep us behind, and we are through. In the opening stages from starting P9, we're going three places and we've won that four now of 12 and Berman is all over the back of us and he's coming back at us and he has got us. But we're going to try and play a bit tactical because the top five, half of the player, was starting to pull away for us. So we're going to try and sit in Berman's slipstream and hopefully he can tow us along back to the back of Claire, but it's not going to stop us still trying to overtake him though we tried to keep it pinned around the outside of the hairpin but it didn't work lap 8 though and we are starting to close in a little bit on half of the Claire but we really did start to hold us up did Ollie Berman so we're still going to look to find a way through on him you can see at the top 4 there starting to pull away Now we're going to go to the outside of Berman. I thought Berman would tell us along. It didn't really work out like that. And the outside though is a great move. Now, have we kept the entire life by staying behind Berman? Okay, we go over that half of Claire. And the answer was it. Yeah, yes. There's a couple of laps to go. Lap 11 of lap 12. There's a lot to go around the outside of the Claire. He's blocked us off. And we've held tight. The field is we're gonna send it laid up the inside and into P4, P2. Is the car right at the front? We have still have a chance of winning this sprint race somehow. You can see how close the top the top couple of cars are with currently P4. The lead is just a second and a half away. Can we win? It's spring race. We're on the back of Dennis Holger. Dennis Miney is Jack Dewan leading. We're going to send it on Dennis Holger. Catching that. We've done him on the outside. That is job done. Now we've got one more sector to try and catch the back of Miney and try and get Jack Dewan as well. It may be out of reach though this time. Miney though could still get Jack Dewan as we ran the hairpin. We've got a good exit off the hairpin though, we've run quite wide though, 
as we go around the marina. And now towards the hotel, we're all over the back of Miley. Has Darren done enough to win this sprint? We're all over the back of him as we go into the final couple of corners. It's a dramatic end to the final sprint of the year. It's now going into the final corner. We're going to send our Miley down the inside. We've taken P2 at the final corner of the sprint. So Jack Doohan wins then the final sprint of the season. We get P2 on the final corner after starting the final lap down in P4. One more lap we maybe could have won that sprint race. But a solid 8 points and it just strengthens our hand on the F2 title this season. Take up a chair you can see there finishing down in 13th. Only gaining one position in the race. So this is it then for the championship. We now have a 21 point lead over Teo Pacea going into the final race of the season then. Teo starting from 14th he essentially has to win the sprint. If he doesn't win we have the title. As simple as that. He's got to enter god mode in this final race. If he wins we only need a P7 and we're world champion in Formula 2. The cards are very much in our favour and ultimately here the gap behind to Jack Doohan may be looking at his mirror's temperature rather than us for the title but we'll see what happens. This is then the constructors. The gap now we've cut to five points over ART. He we lost the lead from last time out in Monza after leading it for most of the season. I mean, I'm sure that will sort itself out as we go through the race. But 21 points in the drivers, 5 points in the constructors. Let's see what happens then. Let's go to the feature race for the final time. It all comes down to this. I'm Alex Jakes, Alex Brundle is alongside me, and for the final time this season, we're about to go racing. Alex, you're looking to sign off in some style. So are the drivers and teams. It's a really important race for everyone here, despite the fact it's the end of the year. They know that everything they do in this event is going to echo for months through the end of the season. Ayumi Awasa lines up on pole position, and Brown completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Martins, Deruvela, Clermont Novela, Behrman, Leclerc, Hauger, Stewart, Kushmini, Benavides, Correa, Frederick Vesti, Teo Porcher, and for sure, Hajar, Cordiel, Zane Maloney, Crawford, Fittipaldi, Boschon, and Roman Stanek completes the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So we're here on the grid then for the final time this season. We're going to be doing soft to mediums is the straightforward strategy we don't need to take any risks in this final race but here we go then it's the jewel in the desert is the title decider and we are racing we've got a great start from the Wazza we're into the lead of the Grand Prix at turn one the Wazza tries to keep it from going outside but we have got the job done the box has been ticked to get in the lead on this opening lap that's terrible for Taylor Bridger. It was a now all over the back of us as we, as we come towards the end of the first sector. It was just getting closer and closer and closer but he's not quite getting close enough to have a go at us into the chicane. I think from here unless he can have a go into the heaven we should be all right on this opening lap. And we will then try and gain some time on the weather, try and control this race. He's going to go though to the other side, he's too far back to have a go at the hairpin. This is a replay though of Taylor Pichai's start and he hasn't got a good win. The second phase has been a lot better but he hasn't gained any places on the opening lap. You can see that button in front of him, that is bestie. As we skip on now to lap 6, we were just keeping the Waza behind at jabbing distance. But going into the hairpin, 
but nobody will say the real thing is the thing we ride there and now that may have what led me was it. In on the action, he's gonna have ERS, he's going closer and closer to us, we're gonna defend the inside line, he's gonna go to the outside, he's almost off the track. We're gonna have to force him the long way round in the chicane, but he's got the inside line, he's done us round the outside, now it's going to be an exit. The track is off the discipline, off the chicane, we're getting closer to the back of the battery, we're gonna have him back here, we're gonna go to the outside, we're gonna go round the outside, and whilst he's on the inside, we should be able to carry more speed, and we have, and he's cut the lead, and what a better race between us and the other, to keep the lead of this feature race, and hopefully he can start Let's here we come again then, El is not giving up on the back of it, and this is lap 8. As he thought about it on the inside, but he's backed out, and that is Victor Martins. He's got to get past us for the, for the constructors. So Martins is really in this for the constructors, for AIT, South Dakota stands, we're winning the drivers and the constructors. Everything's going to plan for us in the early stages of this feature race. He nearly got the job done, did matters, but he couldn't quite. As at the end of lap 8, we are going to box as we go very deep, nearly hit the wall. Coming into the pits, take on one and only stop of the race. We followed him by Wazza. Martins, I think, has stayed out an extra lap. He's been trundled down the pit lane now. Into the pit has gone Iwaza for his stop. We're in on go the medium tyres. As there's some traffic coming through. But we've managed to get out. But Iwaza hasn't. Iwaza's got away for loads of traffic. It's all gone wrong for Iwaza. He's not going to be in P2 anymore. He's lost multiple positions. There he is. He's actually dropped behind Teo Pacher. That's how much time he's lost. Pacher was still around the mid pack, round 14, 13, 12. Around about there, as we have made the gap up. We've pulled away from those behind. Lap 13 of 17. Jack Doohan now is trying to get past Victor Martins. Martins, though has to get past us now, he has to overtake us, but this is the final lap, we have controlled this final stint, and this is Jack doing, trying to find a way past to Martins, on the final lap of the Grand Prix, the final sector, Jack doing overtakes Martins, on the final stretch, Martins gets past doing, but we are going to run the final corner, We've done it! We won the drivers and the constructors! Yes, 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 guys, yes! Come on, boys! Oh, you are my hero! You're my hero! You've done it! All of that work has come down to this, and you are the world champion! Great stuff! There were questions at the start of the season as to whether they could really go all the way, but there's no question anymore. What a special year it's been, and here they are, the new Formula 2 World Drivers' Champion. <laughs> so, another fantastic victory for PHM Bacharus today. And they've won the team's championship. Utterly brilliant. Such a small group of people that can work on these Formula 2 cars and the driver is the hero of the day for that team. So that is it then, 8 rounds, 16 races, not all of them clean races, but it doesn't matter because after the dust has settled, we are Formula 2 World Champion for the drivers and the constructors, 
Martens was left busy defending Jack Doohan when he really had to overtake us. Teo Pacher finishing in 11th, didn't even get points. He's had his worst weekend of the season at the most crucial weekend of the season. But we finish Formula 2 off then in style with the win. Iwaza really unlucky in that race, just got held up in the stops. He's come over B14 after being most of that race in P2 fighting us for the lead and starting on pole position Ralph Boschon who was the final finisher of the day so this is it then this is the final drivers standings we win the Formula 2 World Championship by 39 points and actually Teo Pacher I said he should be looking behind him and he's dropped to P3 in the drivers championship when he could have won it if things had gone badly for us this weekend Jack Dillon with that result means he finishes the season second in the drivers championship and down at the bottom then our teammate finishing at P11 and only getting 46 points Jack Crawford and Ralph Boschon who never scored a point in this season so and like I mentioned as well we have won the constructors as well we very nearly bottled it when we lost it late on in the season back in Monza but we win the constructors world championship by just two points over ART that's why it was crucial that Martins overtook us and also the chair got into the points for the constructors sake but everyone scored a point but it was high tech who finished stone dead last in the constructors but that's been then the Formula 2 career mode. Hopefully winning the Formula 2 championship catapults our chances of Toto Wolf finding us a drive in Formula 1 in 2024. We've done all we need to do. Toto Wolf said that if we won the drivers championship for Formula 2, there may just be a Formula 1 seat ready at the end for us. We accepted his challenge, we've completed his challenge. It may have been a bumpy ride to get here, but we have done it. We'll see what happens then over the winter and if we are racing in Formula 1 in 2024. But we can end this season and go into the winter as a Formula 2 world champion. Goodbye.